like, since everyone in this country, and I mean everyone, everyday aspect, maybe there's like 5% of us in this country that are like me that aren't. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 what can I get? Gimme, gimme. It's like, look at, look, the, the, the top gimme, gimme, most greedy person in the country, Donald Trump is now the president, man. It's like. It's not realistic. It, I mean, it's not realistic and it's not okay. This is not acceptable. If America is truly a democracy and the greatest nation on earth, like everyone tries to tell us, how can people like Donald Trump have billion dollar homes, dude, million dollar homes, hundred million dollar homes, and there are people in the street with no homes? How can you have a yacht that basically a mansion in the water when there's some people who are going without water, dirty water? How can you fucking have a helicopter or a plane and there are motherfuckers out here without cars? How is that real fucking listing when you can hit the Powerball for 320 fucking million dollars Niggas out here starving in the street. How is that fucking real? How is this fucking real? And then they try to say this is the greatest country on earth. And people don't even have fucking health care. I mean, come on. Is this really a democracy? No, this is a capitalist-run nation. This is capitalism. And... It's not just white people, black people, stop the slavery's bad, whitey this, whitey that, just stop. Everyone, stop. How the fuck is this realistic? When, in Donald Trump, we go, oh, they need to work harder. Most of those homeless people, Mr. Trump, are fucking veterans, mentally ill veterans. Trump, I mean, oh my God, America, how is this real? And you wonder why, People in the world, America is a fucking global joke. This is a joke. People in China, laugh. well, it could be worse. It could be in America. <laughs> we have a criminal justice system that preys upon black people and recidivism. We do. We have a fucking stereotypical social structure where people think a guy like this it's, oh, he's a thug, he's a criminal, he's a thug. I'm college educated. I have I have four I am I have a PhD in four scientific disciplines. Pathology, physiology, path I mean pathology, physiology, psychology, and sociology. Sociology is study of human social dialect, pathology is study of human behavior, psychology is study of human consciousness and awareness. Can you tell can you tell me the chemical composition of Lunesta? No? Okay. Chemical composition of cannabis? No, okay. Okay. Y'all call cardiac arrest heart attack. Cardiac arrest B failure, heart attack. And I'm not homosexual, but you just got served. It's like, um, yeah, we have a judgmental society that does not, like me, I don't have to work. I'm in school right now. I'm working a job at Domino's so I can connect with the Hispanics in Dallas. It wasn't up the street. They moved me to the Dallas location. They said, like, they said, you have your own vehicle. You'll make more tips out there. And I have been making way more tips in this two days. Everybody's been sending me messages saying they missed me. But why don't y'all move out of the Dallas location? But it's like this. Why are people starving? It was like yesterday. Somebody didn't claim a pizza. I don't give a fuck if I get fired. I'm a fucking millionaire. I was shit in that store, right on the counter. And then dropped a couple hundred dollars on top of it. But um, it's like this. The two homeless guys in Evil Bridge, hey man, you have any spare change? I'm just trying to get something to eat. Nobody claimed this pizza over at the hospital. And then the dude even told me, when I found the doctor, he said, my lunch break was like 20 minutes ago. I just wanted to see if I could get it in time. He's like, it doesn't look like, he said, kid, eat it. I'm like, what, what do you mean? He said, dude, eat the pizza. He said, it's already paid for with a credit card. He said, eat it. That's what the dude told me. I'm like, cool, I got me fucking lunch. Dude said, I'm hungry, man. You have anything to eat? He said, I haven't eaten in two days. 
It's hot. I was like, wait. I literally pulled over right there. Everybody, mm -mm. hey, fuck you. Fuck you. One dude, hey, I'll kick your ass. Oh, you want to go up against this nigga with a 45? Oh, oh no, nah, bro, you got it. Went around. Got the pizza, dude. Gave it to that dude. Like, he gave me a hug, dude. Like, I felt so good, dude. I got a hug from a homeless guy. Like, Domino's here saying shit to customers. He gave it to me. I even got, I forgot my performance. I got $21. <laughs> Took me 31 minutes to locate this man. He was, it was like, like they said, he's on break. He's on break. And I finally found him. And like, he's like, oh, like, I, I gotta go back to work. Like, he's like, you can have the pizza. It was a black knock. I was like, cool. And he, he even asked, he's like, what do you do? I was all like, he told me shit. I was like, I was like I was, he's like, I'm wanted in the ER. I'm like, ah. Oh. He said, what do you do? I'm like, sociology, pathology, physiology, and psychology. He told me shit. Keep it up, kid. I told him, I'm a millionaire. I don't have to do this. But he said, why are you doing this? I'm like, just to see a different perspective. I clean the park every morning to see a different perspective to see the perspective of youth and to see the perspective of city employees i love just seeing different people's perspectives just to talk to somebody and then tell them if, uh, if police are asking me even if that's not what they're saying but i love seeing other people's perspective an alternative an alternative perspective to like like i tell people if you propaganda is one side of a two-sided argument you must see both sides of any argument I've seen both sides of other people's lives. How the fuck are people struggling in America when they call this the greatest nation on earth? We we invade other countries for humanitarian violations, and we, we are the greatest violator of humanitarian violations just by the homeless situation. Look underneath fucking, look underneath I-30 in Dallas, 30 West. That's a, like a little village under there. That's what we call it, like a little village. We've been donating pizzas there for two days. Every night when we be getting off, they, they told us, you're supposed to throw them out. Man, fuck that. I bet you Patrick Doyle, the Domino CEO, would be like, keep going, man. Keep going, man. I ain't going to fire you. Keep going. We ain't throwing that shit away, man. They're, like I said, that's less than 100 yards away. There are people starving underneath that bridge. I would be a du I will, I pull my own gun and blow my brains out before I fucking throw that pizza. Away. I don't give a fuck. I get fired. I don't need the job. But it's like we're making sure those people eat. If I give you, if I give you cash, you have the incentive to go compensate for narcotics. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna feed you. Then you can go do your narcotic hunt or whatever. If you give these people jobs, they wouldn't be out there. First off, they'd be able to support their drug addict with their pay and they'd be able to support health services, buy insurance. I tell people, I talk to all these people. I'm not Memphis a child molester. Would you like to buy some drugs? Would you like to buy some drugs? Would you like to buy some drugs? That's why I don't like you, Memphis. You prey upon people to get what you want, but make them think that they are getting what they want. I study pathology, studied human behavior. You are what's called a sociopathic, you are what's called a sociopathic receptive void, which means that you use receptivism and deception to retrieve conflicted interests that you would wish to gain off of other individual parties to easy the playing field and easy the gains you choose to prey upon the youth in this practice. I don't sell anything. I, don't, I might buy weed from kids when my weed man is like dry. I'd be like, I'll buy that blood from you, kid. How much? 15 bucks. Get it. And I'm keeping the drugs out of your hand by giving, by giving you cash. It's like, it's, like, it's like buying, it's like a gun buyback. Do a drug buyback. If the police offered, hey, we'll do a drug buyback. War on drugs will end tomorrow. The drug buyback. We will give you cash incentive for your drugs in an anonymous box. But you better keep some patrolmen. You better keep the patrolman there, because you get up junkies fucking literally, boom, running over the truck. Hook it up, Ray Ray! Sparks all shooting down the streets, but this is what we need. Not a president like a Trump advises like me.